Okay, we're going to do a quick review of the Bass Dash Swim Shad 3-pack of the jointed glide baits. Now, I'm going to be careful here because I am handling all these. But it comes with three different color uh, coats here. You kind of have like a sexy shad there with that blue back there. Uh, you have your, your white, and you have uh, more of like a shiny, almost like a bluegill pattern. So these are pretty good uh, glide baits you can use if you've never done glide baits before and you're looking for a good value of you know you can see they've got some nice scratches in here so they've definitely been bitten up you know i've caught a couple pike on these i've caught a good amount of bass especially on the shad one here but we're going to dive in i'm just going to grab one of these because you know i want to look at the hooks and kind of the, the specs on it and then i'm going to just tell you kind of my overall uh, response to why i think these are a great first glide bait to go with all right, so let's dive in. This is that bluegill color. You can see it definitely got some marks on there. Um, I've used this a lot. I like in, uh, the pike waters here, imitating bluegill and all that stuff. Um, so it comes with a silicone little tail there. Uh, your hooks there, nice big trebles. And again, that's enough to get those, um, like I said, pike. I've caught bass on these. Uh, you know, I'm not in waters of fish trout, but they will work for trout. You have your big eyelid hook there with... A little bit there so you can tie right to that now when you fish these glide baits you can tell a lot by the angle so this angle isn't like a huge sharp angle so the bigger the angle the more cuts it's going to have this is much more of like a slow roller so it's going to more of a nice kind of subtle s wave a nice slow retrieve a big harsh angle 90 degrees going to be much more of a chop angle so this is really you cast it out there you know it's 12.2 ounces so it is going to sink um, you know, so you kind of want to figure out where your depth's going to be at and uh, and you let her go and then you just slowly reel them in there and uh, you can twitch it here and there and it's supposed to imitate like a wounded fish or you can just imitate a nice slow fish. So I will do these um, maybe like I like this kind of like a clear water bait, you know, midday. I'll do that more like later in the uh, in the summer or in early spring. And then I'll also just really, really slowly reel these in in winter and just kind of like a, a slow lethargic fish and sometimes try and pull up those big ones. Now with this, it's a 2.2 ounce lure. This is really something you want to make sure you're throwing it on a rod that can handle this weight. 2.2 uh, ounces is not like a huge weight or anything, but if you're throwing it on a really light rod and if you check out your rod, it typically will tell you on there like the ounce ratings. Make sure you have something that can handle this because uh, you know, you throw too heavy of a lure, it can snap the rod. So it's not a downfall in this. It's just making sure you have the right specs to be able to throw these big baits. But all in all, it's a pretty good way to get into uh, glide baits.